Hi, I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. You know what I really like? Fireworks shows. The sounds, the lights. I can tell by the look on your face, you like them too. What's that? How do they get the colors in there? Let's go find out. Now I don't have any actual fireworks to examine. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Officer? Pursuant to the City of Houston Code 3301.1.3, the possession, handling, and use of fireworks are prohibited in the city limits. Fines ranging from $500 to $2,000 may be imposed for each individual firework. But even if it weren't illegal, I still wouldn't dissect a real firework because... Every year, over 3,000 children, 14 and younger, are treated in emergency rooms for injuries from fireworks. The bulk of their injuries are caused by sparklers and firecrackers that some people think of as safe for kids to handle. Here are the facts. Fireworks are explosives. They burn. Even sparklers burn hotter than a kitchen match, and we all know not to play with matches. So stay safe, stay legal, and have fun by going to see a community-sanctioned show put on by a licensed pyrotechnician. So here we have two models of fireworks, or shells. Each shell has a main fuse which splits into two different fuses. One of them, the fast acting fuse, runs right down the outside, or in the case of our larger one, it runs right down the inside of the paper to the bottom, which is our lifting charge. So when the main fuse is lit, it in turn ignites the fast acting fuse, which in turn ignites the lifting charge. The lifting charge actually fires the firework out of a large pipe called a mortar. So with our smaller shell, it is a single shot, but our larger shells actually consist of a series of breaks. Each break acts like a separate smaller shell. What's inside the shells, though, is what's really interesting. Remember, our main fuse breaks into two different fuses. The second fuse is what's called a time delay fuse. That means it takes its time to get down into the shell so that the firework is actually up in the air when it goes off. Inside of it is what's called a bursting charge. The bursting charge is kind of like a very large firecracker and sprays the contents everywhere and ignites the contents. And the key piece of the content is something that looks kind of like this. These are called stars. So the key to all fireworks are these, the stars. The stars are what represent years and years of work for any firework manufacturer. They are the key to making every single different display. They make made up of different quantities of materials, different types of materials, and even the shapes of them all affect the final production. But here's what's interesting. They all have four basic ingredients. First off is fuel. This is what actually burns. Second is what's called an oxidizer. This is what provides oxygen to the fuel so it can burn. The third is what is called a binder. The binder is what actually holds the stars together and gives them their unique shapes. And finally, number four, and the most important to us, is the color producer. These are usually metal compounds. Why metals? Well, metals, all of these emit light when heated to a certain temperature, and certain metals like lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, strontium, and copper emit very specific colors of light. Danger! Danger! Normally I encourage everyone to try to do science at home, but I'm about to use fire in order to illustrate a chemical phenomenon. Now fire is very dangerous, so you should not attempt to do anything you're about to see me do at home. I have years of training, knowledge, and experience that keeps me safe. What we're about to do is something called a flame test, where we ignite metal compounds and see what colors they emit. Here we go!
what did we learn today? Well, we learned what goes into making fireworks, and of course, we learned how in the world to get colors in our fireworks, and we hope you've enjoyed this eye-popping extravaganza and have been inspired to have an oh-wow moment of your own. And do us a favor and leave the fireworks displays to the professionals.